Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Monday, November 4th, 2015. Uh, we're actually looking at a warmer day today. It is actually 50 degrees now. So I decided I uh, actually finished cleaning out the camper today and got that done. So uh, that is ready to go. I went up and talked to Chris and uh, told her because Greg wasn't home. I said whenever he wants to come down and get it at this point, he can come down and get it. And so that will be out of here soon. Uh, people said, what am I doing with the camper? Um, I actually gave it to my neighbor, uh, you know. So he said he wants to, you know, redo it inside and stuff like that. And I said, that's fine. Uh, I Believe me, guys, I got my money's worth out of this camper. When we first moved here, if anybody watches the channel knows, that's what we moved into when we first got up here and literally for the first four or five months we were here uh right up into november actually we were living in the camper and uh then we had got the building in october of that year got that in and we're working on the inside uh by november it had gotten to a point where it was too cold to sleep in the camper anymore so we were actually sleeping um on the floor in the house and stuff in front of the wood stove so yeah that was a fun time <laughs> Looking back on it now, it was like, oh my God. But we got it. Everything got done, got taken care of, so that was good. But um, So the camper is going to go because, uh, as you know, I have a greenhouse coming. And so what I want to do is get this out of here. I want to get a couple of things of fill dirt in here to bring up this area over here more because it's going to encompass, uh, you know, I want it all to be nice and level when we put the greenhouse in. So uh, we're gonna probably at least two truckloads of fill dirt, maybe even three, I don't know yet. We'll have to figure that all out when that time comes. But uh, so hopefully uh, this week, Greg will come and take the camper out of here. So that is gonna be, um, that's all ready and all, all set to go. So um, obviously I'm breaking down the garden. Now why am I not leaving the fencing up and leaving that intact so I can utilize it next year? Uh, in the spring, uh, it's probably looking like the spring at this point right now, um, we're going to have trenches dug through this whole area, and we are going to put in uh, geothermal for the greenhouse, okay? So I'm going to need to get in through this area. Now, I can absolutely utilize this again, because uh, obviously the greenhouse is not going to be here, but once we get the piping in and get everything covered back up again, uh, I probably, most likely I should say, put something over in here to be outside for the garden that way. So that's probably going to happen. And I'm not going to say definitely because I don't know yet. We're going to have to see how uh, things go for next year. But uh, So I'm going to pull everything out. Um, the rebar I'm going to actually use to strengthen uh, the fencing where the puppies are. And uh, so like where everything is, like on this side you see it, uh, I'm going to go in between each one and put more rebar, get that in squared away. So this was just like, you know, the next com comulation or copulation, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know how to say the right word, to be honest with you, off the top of my head. I know the word that I want to say, but it's not coming out clearly. Um, cumulate, cu nope, nope, I'm trying to think. Anyway, uh, this is the next step, we'll just say it that way. Of things that needed to get done here. Uh, today's a good day for it. It's actually not a bad day. I'm going to kick this around here. Uh, there's the sun there. It is early afternoon. It is probably, let me see, actually I can tell you in a second exactly what time it is. It is 2.30 right now in the afternoon. So uh, just working on things, getting things done. I'm going to finish breaking down this garden. Um, then I'm probably going to get all the rebar and think about getting things set up over here and getting that driven in. I don't know if I'm going to get to that today. We will see. But uh, this is going to be all completely broken down. Uh, it's not going to take me much longer. I'm going to roll up the fencing and I'll use zip ties to do that. Now i got to show you this. Uh, I was over here and almost took my eye out today. Uh, I was over here and I was pulling up some of the weeds that were here to give to the birds, okay? And I reached down in one of these, I don't know which one it was, and I'm gonna show you. I don't, know, I don't even know if there's a, scr a scratch there or not, but it was right, it caught me right above this eye, uh, right there. So, 
I don't know if you can see, I don't know, I haven't even looked yet, but uh, it went right over the top and uh, I was like, ooh, that's not good. <laughs> so, uh, got to be more careful. Uh, accidents do happen, so, but uh, got lucky. So anyway, I actually got a, came, um, I had to run out for a little bit, and when I came back, there was a box. So, I will take you over here and show you what came today. Alright, so, I see this box, and I'm like, okay, what, what is in here? Um, what we have in here, these are, ah, if I could get this around here, a uh, thermal sleeping bag. So it's a, it's a sleeping bag that you use as like an emergency type of situation, obviously very, very lightweight. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And then, these are, let's see. These are emergency food ration, 3,600 calorie bars. So, one, two, three, four, five in a package. And uh, so, yeah, and then I got two packages of those came. And one of these weighs, what is it, one pound, eight ounces. So, each package, each, uh, each 24 ounce package contains uh, nine 400 calorie grizzly uh, gear food bars. So each one of these has uh, nine of them in there. So 400 calorie bars in each one, I guess. So so that's pretty cool. So that came today. So I thought I would share that with you. I will take you in here real quick and I will show you where we are at production wise on the day so far. Uh, okay, so We've pulled in 1.2 kilowatt hours on this side so far. We have pulled in 2.0 kilowatt hours on that side. So we're already up over 3.2 kilowatt hours. And if you guys know, and I've talked about it plenty of times, for a day, as long as I get 3 kilowatt hours in, um, I don't have to run the generator at all. So, um, And we still have more power coming in on both sides right now, so it'll even be higher before the end of the day. But, uh, so... Not bad power-wise with that, so that's good. And uh, so that's what we're working on. Uh, today, I pulled five eggs so far uh, from the birds. And uh, so they're doing well. And like I said, I just took them some greens, so that's what they're over there working on. As you can see them right there. Um, I just took them some greens over and put that in there for them. And everybody seems to be getting along okay. Now, I did have one thing here that uh, Chris pointed out. Of the new chickens, uh, the seven new chickens that we got, um, one of them is a rooster. <laughs> so we got six more hens and another rooster. So we have uh, 15 hens and three roosters now. So they're just small. You couldn't really tell the difference. And uh, But looking at them and, and, and stuff like that now, you can kind of see that uh, one of those uh, smaller birds is definitely is a rooster. So, oh well, you know, what are you going to do? So now now we're back up to three roosters again. But uh, that's okay. They're all adjusting very, very well. There's one of the new birds over on this side. And you see some over there. Uh, everybody seems to be getting along okay. Uh, obviously, the egg production is back. With five today, the last two days, we got two eggs each day. Um, so... You know, we'll just see how it goes, but uh, they're doing well, and there's the puppies chewing on something. What are you eating, Caesar? What you eating? Huh? So, they're doing good. They're adjusting well. So, how about this one, guys? So, real quick, I'll tell you. Um, yesterday, I check my cats every day. I'm always, you know, when I pet them, I feel them. Abel, now they go out a lot. Abel and um, Gelco are out a lot. And so was Miss Molly. But uh, Abel had four ticks on him yesterday. And I'm going to tell you what. Let me just kind of put it into so you can kind of understand. The last four years, in four years, I think we've pulled four ticks off of the cats and stuff like that in the last four years. This year, um, probably off of Abel alone. So with the four more that I just pulled off of him yesterday. And I did get a spray that we're going to spray all the cats and the dogs with. And it's going to help with that. But uh, 
with uh, with the four I pulled off him just off of Abel, I would say I have pulled 11 or 12 ticks off that cat this year. Uh, Gelco, I've probably pulled six or seven off of him, and the other cats, I've probably 25 ticks this year. So the ticks were really, really bad this year. Um, crazy, just crazy. So what are you gonna do? It's part of the part of the thing. But we, we don't never really had a problem with ticks up here. And then this year for, well, the cats are out a lot, you know what I mean? So they're wandering and they're in the woods and stuff. So especially the boys, the young boys. So um, that's why they're getting hit more. But uh, I got the spray and we're going to take care of them and, and get them squared away. So anyway, um, I am going to jump off here for now. I just want to mention really quickly, we do have the sale continuing on my website. And that is going to go until Sunday, uh, Sunday midnight West Coast time, which is 3 a.m. East Coast time on the next day, which is Monday. But uh, that is when the sale will be over with, okay? 15% um, off of the 60 meal buckets. It is 20% off the 120 meal buckets. And then it is 25% uh, off the 183 sample pack. So if you are looking to, uh, or the mega sample pack it's called, uh, if you're looking to save on some freeze-dried food, um, that is a good time to take advantage of that. So um, that is available through the Sunday. So just so you guys know, and stuff like that. Other than that, uh, it's been a good day. Uh, like I said, milder today, which is nice. And uh, so that's it. All right. I hope everybody's having a good day. That's funny. I was watching um, the guy that just went by is the power company. He was reading the meters. I was over at my neighbor's and he was reading the meters. And I was messing with Greg. I go, he's not going to stop at my place. And he started laughing. He goes, yeah, no kidding. So, but uh, anyway, so yeah, he was out reading meters today. Very funny. So anyway, that's what's going on. I'm um, going to get back to work here and get this done. I will talk to you all later. I hope everybody is doing well. And I uh, hope you're having a great day. Uh, remember, guys, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Uh, tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. Also remember STD, guys. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is you. Nobody else can stop you, okay? Uh, stay positive, stay away from that negativity, and you're going to be fine. I will talk to you all later. Uh, I may do another video later. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. But uh, I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now.